friends, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And what I have for you today is a horror video. I know a lot of you have been requesting some more horror content, so here it is. And this is actually probably going to be, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a new segment on the channel and it is going to be another one that involves community involvement, community participation. And these are horror movies that I feel should never have a remake. So what I'm going to ask you to do is in the comments, leave me your picks for movies, horror movies that you feel should never have a remake. And I'm going to do this for different genres. So we're going to do it for uh, like mob movies, action, thriller, things like that. So I just figured I would start out with horror and uh, we'll go from there. But the first one, I'm just going to get right into it. And we know Hollywood loves its remakes, especially when it is a non-English film. They love to do an English remake, but some of these are just can't have it hands off the first one is the korean film the wailing this film is perfect just as is yes it's in korean yes it has subtitles but we're fine with that and this movie is it's done to perfection just the way it is and i would really hate to see it messed with if hollywood got their hands on it and tried to make an english version of this one or an english remake just leave it alone we'll keep reading our subtitles and if you haven't seen the wailing Put it high on your list because it's an excellent horror movie so definitely the wailing had to be first on my list the next one this is also a korean film and probably the best zombie movie i've ever seen it's high on my list that is train to busan i don't ever want to see an english remake of this movie I i'm telling you i think that the zombies do most of the work in this movie and yes there is a human story as well but we're fine with the subtitles. It's in Korean. We're doing fine. There's no need for an English uh, English remake of this one. No need for Hollywood to get their hands on it and uh, take away anything from this masterpiece of a zombie film. And I love Train to Busan as is. Just leave it alone. And uh, that would be my next pick. And this next one, this is going to be not a shocker to anyone. And it is Jaws. There is no way we could ever get any kind of remake that is better than this one that's right here in my hands. How are you going to take Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, the work of Steven Spielberg, and make it any better than what's right here? This is fantastic. It is perfect just the way it is and, and just loved by so many people. And I think a lot of people would be really disappointed in a Jaws remake. So hands off Jaws. That's my next pick. And this next one, uh, there are... Um, other movies in the franchise but nothing comes close to the original so don't even try to touch the original as far as a remake not that there's rumors of remakes on any of these so far but just i'm just saying don't touch it that's the exorcist the original exorcist i mean come on how are you going to get any better than what william friedkin did right here the practical effects the acting everything about it the, the tone the score everything about this movie just works don't ever touch it because it is exactly the way it's supposed to be. So leave The Exorcist alone. And I think that shows, uh, it also shows in like Exorcist 2 when they do flashbacks uh, and they're not using Linda Blair. It's obvious that they're not using clips from the original movie. It's obvious that it just takes that movie down a notch. So could you imagine a remake of this? It would be a disaster. So just leave The Exorcist alone until the end of time. Leave it alone. Now, at one point, I thought I heard rumblings that there was going to be a remake of this. I hope I'm wrong. If I am wrong, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Or maybe it was going to be a TV show or something. But right now, the franchise is a mess, so I don't know what's going on. But it's the original Scream. This is, this is just so good the way it is. It holds up. I know it's starting to age a little bit, but I still think this is a great horror movie. And I don't think there's anything that they could change about it that would make it better. It's not going to change it. It's not going to make it better. Um, Scream 7 seems to be falling apart. So I, I don't know what they're even going to do with the franchise. But please don't ever change the original Scream. Because this is the movie that we needed when it came out. And it's exactly what it's supposed to be with the cast that, that's supposed to be in it. The cast was perfect. Everything about it was great. And you don't have Wes Craven to do it anymore. So just leave it alone scream not to be touched and this is another one i love this movie probably one of the scariest home invasion movies i've ever seen i've talked about it before and it's the strangers the original strangers there there is no way they could make this film any more effective than it already is i think it is perfect in every way it is freaky it is scary to this day if i watch this movie i am scared to death and there's a scene in there you guys know what i'm talking about if you've seen it 
it still holds up, still freaks me out every time. So don't ever, ever touch The Strangers. It's such a great movie. And now this one is a, uh, it's a French film and it is getting a nice overhaul from Second Sight, which is fine with me. I'm very, very excited for mine to show up, but don't ever change the story. Don't ever remake it. And that is high tension. And um, I just think this is so good. It's such a great take on the slasher slash home invasion uh, genre or subgenre. And I don't want to say too much about it. For anyone who hasn't seen this film, definitely, definitely put it high on your list to see because it is fantastic. It's perfect just the way it is. Yes, there's some, uh, there's French subtitles, but we're fine with subtitles. We're horror people. We can do this. And uh, I don't think there's anything they could do to this movie that would make it any better or any more effective or any less crazy. So definitely leave high tension alone. Now another one, probably one of my, definitely one of my favorite uh, vampire movies of all time, and that is 30 Days of Night. I don't ever want to see this change. I love everything about it. I love the atmosphere. I love the actors. I love the setting. The vampires are so scary. I don't know how they could ever make these vampires any better than they already are. I mean, if you haven't seen this film, I'm going to show you this. Look at the vampires here on the back. Now, you tell me that there's any way they can make these vampires any scarier than they already are and then you get them talking to each other forget it there's no way that this, this film can be outdone it is so great it's perfect from beginning to end 30 days of night one of the best vampire films ever and this is an absolute classic there's no way they could ever touch this one it's the original alien and uh, i don't think they would i don't a lot of these i don't think they would touch them but you know what you never know hollywood seems to be running out of ideas so what do they do we'll do a remake or we'll take a foreign uh, foreign language film a non english film and we'll make it an english film but i don't think there's ever any way they would touch alien but this one aged so well especially with the uh the 4k remake the 4k transfer and and the uh the cleanup I think this looks amazing. It looks like a brand new film and I just really think this one has stood the test of time and I enjoy the franchise. This one especially is one of my favorites and um, I saw it when it like I was very young when this one came out and I remember seeing it on cable. It freaks me out as much as it did the first time I watched it. So just leave Alien alone. Leave all the aliens alone. Just let them be and let them do their thing and uh, they will age well because this one is already showing that with a little bit of a refresh, it's a brand new film. So leave uh, leave Alien alone. And this is another one. I just love this movie. I don't think they would remake it because I don't think there's anything else they could do with it that would make it any better. And especially the final girl. The final girl in this one is one of the best badasses I've ever seen. You're next. And if you haven't seen You're Next, you're missing out. Definitely, definitely put this one high on your list to see because I think this is one of the greatest, greatest, um, I guess I would call it a home invasion. You have a family who's meeting for a dinner and all of a sudden, it's a celebratory dinner, and all of a sudden people are shooting arrows through the windows and trying to pick them off one by one, and uh, they have to fight to survive. And I really don't know how you're going to get a cast like this and people outside wearing these masks. I don't know how you're going to take this film. And make it any more unnerving than it already is. It is perfect just the way it is. So don't ever remake your next. And this one is a classic. I know so many of us love it. And again, it got a great overhaul from Second Sight. And we're happy. Leave it alone. It's perfect. It follows. This is such a great modern horror movie. It has such a, such a unique take on the horror genre. There's no way they could remake this and make it any better than it already is. It's so unique and what they do with it is so different and I just think it works. It, I don't want to get into it for people who haven't seen it, but if you haven't seen It Follows and you want to see a great modern horror movie that has a really different twist to it, definitely check this one out because it's really, really good. It's a lot of fun. It's executed perfectly and I would really hate to see it destroyed by making trying to make it a more modernized remake because I think it's great just the way it is. So hands off. And um Here's another one. This is another Korean film and some people consider this horror. Some people don't. I believe it has enough horror elements in it to call it a horror movie and it is I Saw the Devil. I think this, uh, again, it's a Korean film. I think this is probably one of the best revenge films I have ever, ever seen. It is so, so good. 
And I can just see Hollywood trying to get their hands on a movie like this and thinking that they can make it better, putting our own actors, putting American actors in it and making it in English. No way. This is so effective. It is so good. It's everything it's supposed to be and it is executed perfectly. So just leave I Saw the Devil alone. We're fine with the subtitles. We love it in Korean. Just let it be. It is such a great movie. And if you haven't seen it and you want to see one of the best revenge movies you'll ever see, definitely get your hands on this one because it is fantastic. It's so good. And uh, I just have, uh, have one more film and then a trilogy. And uh, this one, I think there's no way you can top what they did with this one. And it's the autopsy of Jane Doe. I think everything from the atmosphere, the acting, the building, the setting where it takes place, even that, how are you going to replicate that to make it any more creepy than it already is? Everything about this is perfect. The characters have great on-screen chemistry. The whole story unfolds exactly the way it's supposed to. There is nothing that could be done to this movie that would make it any more effective for those of us watching it. And it doesn't need to be updated, nothing like that. It is exactly the way we want to have it. So leave the autopsy of Jane Doe as is. Don't even think about it. It's not even in your wheelhouse, Hollywood. Just let it alone because this film is awesome. And if you haven't seen The Autopsy of Jane Doe and you want to be a little bit freaked out, a lot freaked out, definitely put this on your list to watch. And this last one, it's a trilogy and it's just, it's a, it's a personal favorite of mine and you're not going to be surprised at all. And it is the Rob Zombie Firefly trilogy. It is House of a Thousand Corpses. Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell. And I know people weren't exactly thrilled with Three from Hell, but that is just an example of what happens when you make a movie that doesn't contain one of your central players, meaning Sid Haig had, had, uh, was too sick to do the movie, so they had to rewrite the whole movie to kind of write his character out, and he was in it for only a short bit of time. But that just shows you what happens when you try to mess with... A combination that works and that's what happens in a lot of remakes they try to redo something that's already working and this Firefly trilogy it works so just leave it alone even with three from hell being I would say probably the weakest link but it is growing on me I am growing more and more um, attached to a three from hell and I appreciate it for what it is and I appreciate what Rob Zombie did with the last minute rewrites to account for Sid Haig's unfortunate illness um, but you see what happens when you mess with something that works and how it changes things. And that's a perfect example of why certain films should just be left alone. And the Firefly trilogy is high on my list. So those are my first films, my first batch of horror films that I feel should be hands off to Hollywood. Nobody touch it. Nobody remake anything. Just leave them be. We love them the way they are. And um, like I said, I want you guys to add your picks down in the uh, comments. Let me know what films, horror films in particular, you think need to be left alone. No one should touch them. So uh, that's it. That's the new segment. And I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you as always for watching. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you for taking your time out to watch these videos. And uh, if you like things like this, horror videos, collection updates, top 10 lists, movie reviews, hauls, like I said, the eventual room tour, uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I upload again. And uh, what's today? Today is Wednesday, so I'll probably upload again on Friday and then something over the weekend. I'll, I'll post something over on the community tab. We had some bad weather here overnight, so uh, I wasn't messing around on, on the uh, computer or the phone. But um, that's it for today, so I hope you enjoyed this little horror segment, and uh, we're just going to keep things rolling. And um, that's going to do it for me today, so for now... That's a wrap.